At ESMO 2023, we have an opportunity to present new data from a trial called PSMA-4. Now, the PSMA-4 trial was conducted in metastatic castrate-resistant prostate cancer, but all the patients are taxane naive. Very important. What we have done is to compare two agents, two classes. One is PSMA lutetium, and the other is a second hormone, either abiraterone or enzalutamide. Now, in order to determine who's qualified for the study, we did a PSMA PET scan. It turned out that 92% of the patients who got a PSMA PET were actually eligible for the study. We randomized 468. The primary endpoint was radiographic progression-free survival or death. I'll just call it RPFS. And it turns out it was a significantly positive study. The data presented at ESMO indicate an RPFS hazard ratio of 0.43. In the control arm with the hormones, 5.59 months. In the lutetium arm, 12.02 months, so more than double on the RPFS. Now, we had a variety of secondary endpoints. Some of those secondary endpoints were like PSA decline. PSA decline in the hormonal arm, about 20%, 57% in the lutetium arm. And then we have objective response rate with those with measurable disease. About 50% of the lutetium patients had an objective response. We had a variety of other secondary endpoints, but the one that was most important was the crossover adjusted overall survival. It turns out that when people were treated with the hormone and they progressed, they could receive the PSMA lutetium. And it turns out that over 80% of the patients who met the eligibility for progression discontinued the hormones crossed over. So there's a lot of crossover in this study. The crossover adjusted overall survival was 0.8. Now those confidence intervals did overlap once, so that's not statistically significant. Adverse event rate was, believe it or not, grade three, four lower in the lutetium arm. SAE rate lower in the lutetium arm. And I'll simply say it was very well tolerated. Discontinuations about 5% and dose adjustments were less in the lutetium arm as compared to the hormonal arm. My general conclusion is that lutetium, PSMA, is quite active in this taxane naive metastatic CRPC space. And not only was it active, it was extremely well tolerated. So my take home is we have a new therapy that eventually, when regulators approve, will be available for patients in this space.